To the latest in COVID-19, health officials say BA2 is the most transmissible variant of COVID-19 we've seen thus far. The California Department of Public Health recently released new guidelines for schools in response to that variant, and they may surprise you. KSBY's Erin Fay spoke with a local school district about the change. She's live with us this morning in Arroyo Grande. Hi, Erin. Hey Neil, one of the biggest changes relates to quarantining. It is now just a recommendation for students who were exposed. Earlier this month, the CDPH released new guidance where schools may allow students who were exposed to COVID-19 back on campus without quarantining. We send a notice exposure to the classroom when there's a positive case, and then we recommend testing after days three to five um, and monitor for symptoms. Schools can allow students who were exposed to continue school activities unless they develop symptoms or test positive. The reason why the quarantine recommendation that was changed was because with the new variant, the BA2, the incubation period, which is the time from which one is exposed to one, one developed symptoms, is quite a bit shorter. According to Pacowin, that time span is now two to three days. For staff members, they follow Cal OSHA guidelines, so these new recommendations only apply to students. For positive cases, we follow the state and local health department guidance. So uh, the individual, the positive individual is to self-isolate for a minimum of five days and can test uh, on day five or after, and if negative, can be released from isolation. We have resources on KSBY.com to help people find out just where to get tested for COVID-19. Reporting live from Arroyo Grande, Erin Fay, KSBY News.